So the first weapon is called Deer Hook Knives and I'm no expert using this but a lot of the patterns here are somewhat similar to animal style Kung Fu where you often guard low while striking high and strike low while guarding high so you see my hand position switching a lot and of course you can see the sharp parts, there's the crescent blade in the center of the weapon and there's the hooks at the end. Very similar to a hook sword, which I'll show later. And so, just gonna double stab the opponent, just for fun. So moving on, my idea was to do a bit of locomotion as I traveled so to speak towards the weapons to pick them up but I ended up not doing that much here with the fan you'll see a lot of times I open up the fan to obscure the vision of the opponent or sometimes to cut because this is I'm visualizing using a sharpened fan not just an improvised weapon but one designed for combat spinning techniques in a lot of ways it's an extension of your of your fists but you can use the fan open or close it like a simple stick as well and you can use it to hook your opponent or to obscure the vision and so towards the end I'm just maintaining balance just because that's part of the emphasis with the fan it's a feminine weapon, it's not so much about explosive power, it's more about elegance and grace and balance and all of that good stuff. So now I'm picking up the largest weapon, the Guan Dao, which means, uh, Dao means blade, and it's named after Guan Yu, a legendary, almost mythical, historical figure in Chinese culture. I'm thrusting it out like a spear but for the most part you want to hold on to the weapon close to the blade because it's a heavy weapon and the tricky part with this one especially when you're a bit rusty like I am so I haven't trained with it that consistently is to maintain proper edge alignment especially as you go through all the spins and all the fun stuff All of this is improvised and that's a bit of a fail. I should have stuck the guando harder into the ground so I had time to deliver the kick. So I just randomly decided to do some marble but then realized that would be boring for the video and then I came up with this just to add some flair before going to the next weapon. And so now there's the hook swords. These are actually sharp. They're not quite sharpened, but they are very pointy at the ends and it's a metal set of hook swords. So you have to be very careful using these. I purchased them off of Wish, so it's not an expensive product, not a high quality one, but it does the job. And again, I'm no expert using this but you can hook onto the opponent and drag them back. That's what I did there. And you can use it in many different ways. It's a very versatile weapon. Again, I thrust with the pommel and then I visualized an opponent while I was seated and cut with the crescent guard. And going to leave a link to a video at the end where I go more in depth on this weapon where I explain all the different ways it can be used and show a not so perfect demonstration demonstration with it anyways it was nice to spend a little bit of time in the sun and get some practice in with diverse mix of weapons and then I decided to finish off just a bit of shadow boxing
as you'll notice I'm using elbows here even though the fight I'm preparing for versus Simon Dam it's where elbows aren't allowed and the same for the potential next match which would be kickboxing but there's still some time before that match is happening once it goes it moves closer I'll completely refrain from using any elbows or knees to the face like a jumping knee to the face anything that might be that would be illegal in the fight yeah I'm just trying to flow and have a bit of fun while also minding my defense and trying to work on my weaknesses so what I'm doing here is not necessarily what I'm best at and trying to do a lot of boxing and hip movement and trying to mix it up and that's a takedown an arm drag and then a knee sweep and an arm bar but I visualize the opponent grabbing onto his other arm and escaping so I try to follow him and I take him down as he's stood up and then I go for a hidden arm choke and into side control and put pressure on the neck and I visualize him tapping so now just a little bit of balance, locomotion type of practice and some head stained variations I noticed that my legs aren't fully straightened I didn't really sense that while doing this but something to focus on at least for more aesthetic performance and also nice to know exactly what kind of position your body is in. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's about it. Let's see, did I do something more? Oh yeah, here towards the end I worked on my legs and I'm retraining my left leg where I had a hip flexor issue so this is quite challenging for me this part this right now as I'm going down it's difficult for me to maintain balance and I spin around because I know better than to try and use my leg to get back up and so this is a bit yoga inspired something I saw on Instagram but I lost balance I've done this in the past you can see it on my Instagram but this wasn't that will execute it. Anyways, that's it. After years of free content, I need a helping hand from some of you. You can support me with $3 each month or 5 or 10 for a few extra benefits. Thanks for listening. Visit my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash sendragon.